Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I will be using Word and Mathematics Add-in to solve and plot equations. Click on the link below in the info section of YouTube to download and install your mathematics add-in for Microsoft Word 2007 and 2010. Once you've installed your add-in, simply run Microsoft Word. And what you'll notice is a new tab will appear on the t at the top, a mathematics tab, as shown here. Click on the tab to view the options available on the mathematics tab toolbar. Let's take a quick look at these tab tool buttons. The equation button allows you to insert common mathematical equations or build up your own equations using a library of math symbols. If you click the down arrow on the equation button you will see a number of equations, pre-built equations and any equations you may have added yourself. The compute button performs calculations, solves the equation or performs an operation on list on, or a matrix. If you click the down arrow, you can see you can calculate, solve, algebra, allows you to factorize, uh, differentiate equations, first order differential equation, integrate uh, equations, solve matrix, transpose, inverse matrix, and the list offers a variety of statistical functions on a list such as finding the arithmetic mean, median, mode, standard deviation and the variance. The graph button allows you to plot in two dimensions, plot in three dimension and plot inequalities. You can also edit the graph using this button. To the right of these buttons is the options that are available. We can set to set the options to radian mode, degrees mode or gradient mode. We, we also have two other options, one which is complex number option and the real number option. The real number option field is the one we use. The complex number option is used for complex numbers and its calculations. When you click the comp complex number option you will notice that the radian it changes to radian modes. When you click back to the real mode, which is the one we'll be using, it still is set to radian mode and we would have to manually change that back to degree mode. One other option is the decimal places. This sets the maximum number of decimal places to display. We have from 0 to 13 decimal places. By default it's set to not fixed and that's the number of decimal places we'll be using. The help the options button currently has an options dialog which has uh, no options whatsoever at the moment but the, there may be some later on so let's just cancel that the help option again consists of how to solve an equation plot an equation uh, help on basic functionality of the add-in I will be conducting a series of demos using the add-in for various mathematical topics. So let's start with Cartesian functions plotting 2D linear graphs. Cartesian linear functions, these are straight line graphs. Let's enter an equation, just click on the Pi button. What we will notice is type equation here will appear in place equation editor. Let's put in x x plus 5 equals y or y equals x plus 5 I've put the equation in this form for a reason and you'll notice that later as we work through this equation what we do is we enter this equation again so that we can change the value of x plus 5 
equals y to 0. Here, what we're doing is when we set the x plus 5 equals 0, we, we will be able to solve the equation. Right click on the button and click Compute, Solve for x. What this does is solves the equation when y is 0. We have an x value which equals negative 5. This negative 5 indicates where it crosses the x-axis. Again, let's we input the equation again and solve for y. Let's put a value of 0 in for x and 0 plus 5 equals y. Let's compute solve for y. What we have here is y equals 5. This is the y-intercept where x, when x equals 0, y equals 5. This is where, where it crosses the y-axis. So we go back to our original equation and we will see what we've just worked out graphically if we plot. Right click, graph, plot in 2D. It will bring up a mathematics adding graph dialog where we have the equation at the top left corner there. We have the display, we can show and hide the axes on the display. We have show and hide out of frame and we have show and hide grid lines. We can have a proportional display which maximizes the graph and we can also set a plotting range if we, if, if we need to. There is a zoom function which allows us to zoom in both x and y directions. Zoom plus for zooming in, minus to zoom out. You can specifically select a direction which you want to zoom in, whether it's just x or just y, or x and y. You can trace the graph if you need to. Let's use the trace function. Click on the trace. You will see that it's currently tracing the graph along the line. We can stop the trace at any point and drag and move the trace ourselves. And we can see where it crosses the y-axis there. When x equals 0, y equals 5. With the general options we've got, restore the graph here to its original state and save the graph as a picture. This allows us to save it as an image and use it elsewhere. You can also zoom in and out using your mouse roller button to zoom in and out of the graph. There we go. And you can also move click, left click and drag and move the axes or graph around the screen. Let's insert the graph into our document. We can see the graph here. If we want to edit the graph, we double click it and we're back to where we are with the adding graph dialog. Now we can edit this graph and let's say we want to put the y intercept or the x intercept onto our graph. So let's put y intercept in this case. When x equals 0 we would have y equal to 5. If we can get a precise value it'd be ideal. Which currently we cannot but because from our calculus if I press update we can we'll get an update to this graph. Let me just zoom in and trace the function so that I can get, try and get a more final value. There we go. When x equals 0, y is approximately 5 there, as it's approximately 0. Let's update the graph. This will put the trace value on the graph for us. But from our calculations here, we, we already know that y equals 5 when x equals 0 and x equals negative 5 when y equals 0 which is there, negative 5. Let's plot linear inequalities. Enter, press Alt plus to enter an equation. Let's enter x minus 6 is greater than or equal to y. Let's re-enter the equation. 
and solve for x. What we set, what we do here is to solve for x, solve the equation for x. What we do is set the equation x minus six greater than or equal to zero. Now, right click on the equation, compute solve for x. What we have is x greater than or equal to six is our solution to this equation when y equals zero. If we go to our original equation, right click, graph, plot inequality here. Let's plot the inequality. Brings the adding graph dialog. There's our inequality there again. Let's change the display to a more sleeker display. And let's insert this plot. Once we've inserted, what we can see here is a solid straight line going across there as our graph x minus 6 greater than or equal to y. What we're interested in is the shaded part and the solid line that we have here. So the equation defined by this shaded area and the line itself is the part we're interested in and is the part defined by this equation. Okay, let's try another inequality. So negative three x negative three x plus seven is less than y. Negative three x plus seven is less than y. Right. Let's re-enter the equation and edit this equation and set this value to zero and solve for x. Let's solve the equation for x. x is greater than seven over three. Now, we, if we go to the original equation and plot this graph plot inequality, we have our ine inequality defined up here and our inequality plotted up here. What you will instantly notice on this plot is let's insert the plot into the document. Instantly notice on this plot is that you have a dotted line representing negative 3x plus 7 less than y. That's because the less than sign and there is no less than or equal to sign here. If there was an equal to sign you would have a side line like above for the above example. As it's just less than we would have a dotted line and anything that the dotted line represents is not included as part of our solution. Solution is the bit that's shaded area. X is greater than seven over three. Is what is our solution when y equals zero? Hope you found the demo useful. Don't forget to click on the link into the info section to download your copy of the Microsoft Mathematics Add-in for Microsoft Word 2007 and 2010.